My name is Jeff Schulte, and I am the founder of Tin Man. Very excited today to introduce Hannah Tixon. Uh, she is a timely, vital, and important member of our coaching team. And um, when I first met Hannah, I think I was 30 seconds into the conversation when I knew, well, she's right person, right time, big need. And a lot of that comes from my own personal story. Uh, which started around 25 years ago with a health crisis with one of my children. And I won't go into the detail of it, except that uh, we literally had to rethink how do we take care of our child in a way that helps boost his immune system and removes things that are suppressing his immune system, which quite frankly meant us completely emptying our cupboard. It was pretty dramatic. Um, and, and I don't think Hannah's going to do that, but it was pretty dramatic that we had to start over and rethink how we were fueling, not just our son's body, uh, but ours as well. It changed our whole family um, as far as health. But our son went from critical, no immune system, couldn't be around other children. Because um, I remember one family road trip that we had forgotten to take enough of our own packed food because he, he couldn't have anything processed. Nothing, nothing with nitrates, sulfates, anything in it, any fast food, nothing that was prepackaged or wasn't just organic, natural. And we, were, we, were, we had to stop at a McDonald's uh, to get something to eat. We're like, what can we get safely at McDonald's that this child of ours can eat? And I remember us thinking scrambled eggs, like scrambled eggs are okay. And uh, that child took one bite of those scrambled eggs and was in hives within five minutes. Uh, and we're like, gosh, we got to help this kid. So uh, we, uh, we were mentored by a couple that honestly, this was 25 years ago. Uh, we, we were driving, I remember driving an hour to find a little hole in the wall store in the basement of some uh, shop somewhere that nobody knew about. I almost felt like I was doing some kind of drug deal to get some of these supplements or some of these natural foods that today I can walk into a, a Whole Foods and it's just all right there, it's mainstream because this was 25 years ago. And we were considered uh, kind of freaks with the way that we uh, uh, handled this with our son and the way that we ended up um, actually feeding our whole family. But uh, that's not the case anymore. Uh, we've traveled in the last 25 years as a culture probably a hundred years in terms of how we think about nutrition, gut health, diet, how it affects our immune system, our health. I'm um, all for traditional medicine, but a lot of times we treat symptoms uh, rather than treat causes. And uh, I know with this particular child, we went from, uh, we're gonna have to medicate him in a way that we're gonna have, that we're gonna have long-term effects on his body and his health that would have dealt with the symptoms, but not helped him long-term. And uh, this kid went on to become a, a division one college swimmer. Uh, and I would watch him even in college swimming thinking, this is the same kid uh, that at that time, 18 years ago, uh, we couldn't even take him around other children. Uh, and here he is like healthy, strong. And, and, I, and mostly I'm grateful that we had a mentor couple walk us into this. And it's also why Hannah is important to our team, because even today, uh, I don't meet with anybody that I'm not wanting to talk to holistically. Uh, you know, God, God made us so integrated, heart, soul, mind, strength, body, spirit, soul, that we, you know, there's no separating of those things. So when I'm dealing with a man or a woman's emotional and spiritual health, I got to ask questions about what they're doing to care for themselves, what's going on with their bodies, how they eat and how they sleep and things like that. And that's why the inclusion of someone like Hannah to help those that we're working with at Tin Man is so critical. So I've kind of said enough already. I just want to get Hannah on the screen here. Hannah, uh, great to have you here. I want you to talk. I want to introduce yourself and, uh, and then tell us a little bit how you got into uh, functional uh, medicine coaching. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Jeff. I'm so happy to be here and inspired by your story. It's similar to, to mine um, in that it kind of starts with your own health need <laughs> and just being discouraged and wanting more. So, um, I am a functional medicine certified health coach. I have a bachelor's in sports medicine and a master's in exercise and nutrition science. So um, even in school, I knew this was somewhat the route I wanted to go, although I didn't have a name for it at the time. I just remember learning about chronic symptoms and illnesses and, and learning, man, so many people in our country and over the world struggle with these and many of them are preventable through diet and lifestyle. And I was being equipped in the things I was studying to be able to walk alongside people and help them make the changes they need to make in order to feel better. 
And so I remember having that kind of dream in my heart of wanting a doctor to hire me so I could help their patients get better because the doctor doesn't really have time these days to do all of that work in the trenches. And so that was kind of the dream of my heart and um, just continued study and exercise and nutrition and kind of traveling this path. And then um, it was grad school really that my own health symptoms started to get worse. And I'd grown up and kind of dealt with acne and digestive issues. And honestly, I kind of thought the digestive stuff was maybe normal for people. Um, and that the acne was just genetic. Like I thought, well, my dad had bad acne. His mom had bad acne. I just have, you know, the bad skin gene. And in grad school, I started to kind of think, gosh, there's got to be there's got to be something I can do here. And these symptoms are getting worse and more is showing up. And they, they've got to be connected somehow. I know my story and it feels like these things are connected. Um, and so I saw several doctors and in the kind of, kind of conventional system and um, got you know a pill, got a cream, couldn't really get anyone to tell me why I, these things might be going on. Or maybe they'd just say, oh, you're just stressed, but they wouldn't take any time to get to know me or what was going on in my life. And nothing really seemed to resonate with me. And I was discouraged. Nothing seemed to be helping either. So I was really discouraged. Um, and at that point, I was talking to a friend and she recommended a functional medicine doctor that she had seen. And I didn't know what functional medicine was. And didn't, I don't, might not have even known that she was that. And I just knew she had a different approach. And it was a breath of fresh air to see this physician. She took so much time to get to know me, to get to know my story, what had led to where I was today, what was my lifestyle like, what was even just my personality like, am I that highly driven, eat, eat more easily prone to overworking type of person, which I am, <laughs> and how does that play in to, um, to my what I need to heal and how I need to learn to Sabbath, right? And so um, she did all of that with me and really became um, so instrumental in my own healing, but also as a mentor professionally, learning what it looks like to dive deeper into what are the root causes of what's going on and how can we address those? And so that really started me on the journey to, to the field of functional medicine. And she gave me a lot of um, recommendations for podcasts and reading and self-educating. And, um, and then we ended up moving away to a different state. And I met another uh, functional medicine physician that I've been working with and mentored by for several years now. And um, she's been just such a pleasure to work with. And I've learned so much and been able to become certified as a functional medicine health coach. And so being able to take my own testimony, my own journey, and really come alongside others and in, especially in Tin Man's case, the body of Christ yeah. so that people can live at high capacity and, and love God at high capacity. And so that's, that's a little bit of my story and why I'm here. And it's just such a joy to do what I do. Well, um, I want you a minute to talk a little more about what is functional medicine, but I just want to also say this because you know, it can be, this can be intimidating. I, I remember us 25 years ago, the whole prospect of rethinking how we approached our health was a little overwhelming. We couldn't have done it without uh, uh, this couple, Mike and Kay, that literally came into our home and said, we'll teach you how to do this. Now, um, we were in a crisis that forced that, but then once we gained some momentum with their coaching uh, and start seeing some of the benefits, that's when, that's when we started rolling. I mean, we, we've got six children. Uh, the crisis was with number two, but then we started seeing the health benefits for the rest as they came along. And then for Brenda and I, I mean, I, this sounds like a radical statement to make um, because today there's such an overprescription of antibiotics. Um, but my last four, uh, this is crazy, no ear infections and no antibiotics. And uh, two of those are adopted kids, so it's not like genetic. I'm just saying our whole approach changed when our when we would have symptoms. It wasn't just what do I got to take to make the symptom go away. It was what it was what's going on uh, with me, or what do I need to supplement with, or what do I, what am I eating, what am I doing uh, that can actually deal with strengthening my body's ability to fight what's going on here. 
Um, it was so different. I mean, I, I mean, I haven't drank, I don't think I've drank a soda in, you know, some, a couple of decades, but because I remember thinking and knowing this, that uh, a, a teaspoon of sugar uh, lowers your uh, uh, immune system by 50% for like eight hours or something like that. And then I remember looking at that, that can of root beer Coke thinking there's, there's five or six teaspoons of sugar in there. Now, I can drink that and I'll probably enjoy it. And I have had a cup, I've had some pop in the last 20 years. But my point is, I knew what I was drinking that, what I was going to have to overcome and what my body was having to fight to make that happen, if that makes any sense. It was just a whole new different way of thinking about what we put in us, mm -hmm. our gut health, all that kind of stuff. So all that to say, gosh, this is so significant and we do need help with it. Talk, talk some about exactly what it is. Uh, what is functional medicine? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And that's amazing, by the way, that yeah. your kids didn't have antibiotics. That's really incredible and unheard of. And, and again, I think absolutely goes to the approach that you guys were using to boost their immune system, just in the way you were living, being mindful of those things. Um, but yeah, functional medicine is, is not a specialty. It's an approach that any practitioner or coach can use to help people investigate and address what the root causes are of their chronic symptoms or illnesses. And so, um, you know, the, the doctor that I've worked with is, is a family medicine MD and dietitian by training and then got a certification in functional medicine. But you could be a neurologist in, with a functional medicine specialty, you, or not specialty, but, um, approach. Um, you, gastroenterology could have a functional medicine approach. Like all of these subspecialties that we use in conventional medicine could use this lens through which to investigate and uncover what's really going on. Um, you know, so in, in conventional medicine, a lot of times we're focused on, you know, okay, you have these symptoms, what's the diagnosis, right? What's the name of what's going on? And once we have the name, we have a pill for that, or we have a cream or a procedure. Um, and in functional medicine, we take a minute and we go, okay, the diagnosis is good, but that's just the beginning. Why? why do you have those symptoms? Why do you have that condition? We really see the symptoms and conditions as the leaves and the branches of a tree. And you can cut those off, but there's still stuff going on and it might grow back, right? So what are the imbalances, the core clinical imbalances in the body that are out of, that are out of balance? So that could be related to gut health and your, your microbiome, your digestion and absorption of nutrients. It could be your detoxification processes and how your body handles getting rid of toxins. Maybe it's not doing a great job and you feel super fatigued or you've got depression, right? Um, or it could be related to just energy production um, or communication, your neurotransmitters, or your hormones. There's lots of these different symptoms that impact multiple areas of our body that can be out of balance. And then, what's driving that imbalance, right? We want to go even one step deeper and look at what are the root causes. And this is where health coaching can be extremely helpful. The root causes of disease are stress in its many forms from the perceived stress from work and finances and relationships to lack of sleep or poor sleep um, to over-exercise, right? We often think of under-exercise is a problem, but so is over-exercise. Um, toxins are another category. So stress, toxins. We have significantly more toxins in our environment than we ever had a hundred years ago. Significantly more. And it's in the air we breathe. It's in the food we eat. It's um, in the water that we're drinking. It's the items that the beauty products and the cleaning products that we're using, right? Chemicals are everywhere. Um, and our body and our genes are having to figure out how to adapt quickly to these things. Um, and, and our genes can't really adapt quite that fast. So we see, so we see burden on our health. So toxins, allergens, like mold is a big one. Foods can be allergens that trigger our immune system. Um, microbes like bacteria and yeast, especially in, in what we're learning more and more about the GI microbiome and imbalance in those. 
Um, and then poor diet and exercise, whether that's just the standard American diet or it's eating foods that you're sensitive to, anything that could be pro-inflammatory in the body. And that, that's very individualized in and of itself. Um, so we see those things as the, the roots of the tree. And what we know now, we used to think, right, that, and even in my own story, I used to think my acne was just genetic. We used to think that your genes were your destiny, and that kind of determined what diseases you got. Um, but now we know your genes are not your destiny, that there's this whole field of epigenetics that basically says your lifestyle and your environment interacts and feeds information to your genes and then your genes can express disease or health. And so we have so much power. Really, many doctors would say 90 to 90%, 90 to 95% of our chances of disease are what we do and not our genetics. Wow. Yeah. So that, that's empowering, right? That, that frees us from feeling like I'm stuck with what my parents had um, and and what I'm experiencing, it's not just happening to me. I have a lot that I could potentially do. Um, and it takes effort and it takes investigating and it, it might take some handholding by someone who, who knows how to help you, but, um, but it can be done and that's incredible. Um, and so the last thing I'll point out with functional medicine is, you know, in, in contrast to the conventional system where a lot of times you get a diagnosis and then there's just kind of a set treatment plan that you move forward in functional medicine, again, it's very individualized. So we'd recognize that one stressor can manifest as two different conditions or symptoms in, in people. So a lack of sleep chronically or poor sleep chronically could then manifest as depression in someone, but in, in someone else, it could be hormonal imbalances, right? And so those two people, while they show up and their chief complaints are different, they really need to work on the same thing. <laughs> they both need to work on quality sleep. Well, and, and you're just even pointing out some of the interaction between some of the kind of work we do in our coaching and counseling and working on the emotional and spiritual issues in a human being's life and that we cannot ignore the physical stuff that's going on because of how the, all that interacts together. There's no, there's no one little piece over here I can work on. I start working on this piece, it affects all the pieces, which mm -hmm. again is why uh, even being thoughtful about this part of our life matters. Um, and, and again, we tend to ignore it or, or obsess about it, but it's just, it matters. So keep, keep talking about that. Um, and, and then even I want you to transition at some point into what it looks like for someone to work with you, because um, even with our other coaching and counseling, what we believe deeply at Tim Man is that we just, we weren't made to do life alone. Mm -hmm. and most of where we want to go and need to go, we can't go there alone. And this is another example of that to go, you know, if it hadn't been for this mentor couple for us 25 years ago, I know Brenda and I wouldn't have, we'd have, we'd have known we needed to do something, but we'd have been frozen because we wouldn't have known how to take the next steps. I was, I was talking to my 18 year old son the other night about an issue in his life. And, and we were talking about his goals and things he wanted. And I was standing in our foyer and I looked up to the landing at the top of the steps and I said, son, I know you want to be to the top of those steps. I said, but I'm not going to ask you to do a broad jump from, the, from, the, from this where I'm standing all the way to the top of that landing. I said, what I want to do is help you break down like one step at a time. How do we walk up these steps together so you can find yourself up on that landing, which is where you say you want to go? Because standing down here, that's overwhelming and we can't jump that high and certainly can't get up those stairs by ourselves, which again is why what you're doing matters and why it's, why it fits so perfectly with the work of Tin Man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that analogy of just the one, one step at a time. Mm -hmm. And I think that's totally where coaching, um, coaching comes in. Um, and so, yeah, I'll talk about, you know, what it looks like to get into functional medicine, to work with a practitioner, work with a coach, uh, why, why one might be beneficial for someone over the other. Um, and so, but I do want to, while I'm there, I wanted to go back just oh, yeah. what I was saying, and while that same stressor can be two different conditions in one person, right? The, um, the same condition could be caused by two different things. And that's again, why this investigative process that I do with my clients and that practitioners will do is so important because we could have, and we do often have someone show up with thyroid dysfunction and 
while the conventional model is often, here's a hormone to support your thyroid, there's so much more we can do to optimize the function of the thyroid and to figure out why it's, why it's in a state of dysfunction. And so for one person, it might be um, maybe a nutritional deficiency and or a food intolerance. And when we optimize those things, we optimize the thyroid. But for another person, it could be that they have a, a mercury toxicity or an overall high toxic burden and they need a different approach. And so I think that that's also just important to know that this, that's why we have to spend a good amount of time up front getting to know people as we should. And as really in years back, the, the family doctor knew your family, knew what you were eating, knew where you got your food, right? We're kind of going back to that in a more modern sense. And so um, in functional medicine, there's really two ways to get started with this investigative process. There's working with a practitioner and there's working with a coach. And they're both valuable, but I think that there's definitely a better way to, for, for each person, depending on where they're at. So working with a practitioner um, is what I did and um, has some great value. They are going to jump in and they're going to do some good investigating into your health history. And then they typically like to order a, a decent amount of labs to get some good data of what's going on here. Um, and from there, we'll develop a, a protocol for their patient. And the, the downside to this, I mean, the good side, I guess I should start with is it's, you get answers very quickly in terms of what do we need to get after? Um, and that can be really helpful. However, it can also be expensive, <laughs> right? Many of this isn't covered by insurance, unfortunately, because it's just outside of the way that insurance allows practitioners to practice. Um, but, but also, if someone's not taking good care of themselves currently, they're gonna have a lot to do on the upfront. And it's kind of, I could already tell you after spending an hour with someone and getting it a feel for what their lifestyle's like, what their diet's like, I could already say, we could do labs, but I could tell you things right now you need to work on without spending that money now. Because we may need to do that one day, but we have to do these things no matter what. And so you might as well start with the, what you need to start with now. Um, so, so specifically, why it might be good to work with a coach is because if, if you're, you're not sure that your diet's optimal or you've got digestive symptoms all, already, <laughs> that's an indicator, like something's not quite right. Um, if you're not moving regularly, if you've got stressors in your life, you're not sleeping well, um, you're not really sure how to take care of your gut, or you're concerned it might not be in a good place. All of these things are things that a coach, is, a functional medicine health coach, is really trained to help clients work on and get traction on and make those good changes. And by doing a lot of that, we often clear a lot of the smoke out of the room as to what could be going on. And what I found is that many of my clients that start with me I end up never having to send them to a clinician. We work for a month or two and symptoms are gone. <laughs> I see them at their final follow-up and they're like, no concerns, like I'm feeling good. What do I do now? Do I need testing? I'm like, for what? <laughs> you know, like what what would what do you think you need testing there for? They're like, I don't know. So that's great, right? That's what we want to see. We want to reverse what's going on. Um, and there are some people that still have some things lingering. But what we've done is we have just set up the most beautiful lob of a softball pitch for the practitioner to hit a home run because we've established some excellent lifestyle habits, a solid anti-inflammatory diet for that person, really made some strides in supporting their microbiome and their gut health, which impacts every other system of the body we now know from research. And the practitioner then can be very strategic and focused in their assessment and their investigation, which can also end up saving money down the line and be a faster road to recovery. So, um, well, because you've already taken care of some of the fundamentals that would have to be taken care of no matter what. Absolutely. Yeah. And I know I'm a coach and so I sound biased and I am, I'm not free of bias, but this is also congruent with a with what functional medicine practitioners say in this field 
they advocate for spending time with a coach and that you should spend more time with a coach than with a practitioner. Because this takes, like you said, it takes some time and it takes yeah. some work and it takes figuring out what, how does this fit for my family? What's reasonable for me? What can I start today? And, and what's okay to leave for later? And those are all things that many people are trying to do, um, but maybe feel stuck or don't feel like what should they do next? And that's where a coach is invaluable. Yeah. So if, if someone, um, if someone wanted to work with you, like what would they do or how would it start? What's it kind of look like? Give me, give me an example. And maybe even then give some examples of, of, uh, of some people that you've worked with. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. So I like to start people with, um, a thorough investigation first. So one meeting to just go through, I want to know your timeline of your life. <laughs> I want to know from birth till now, what went on? What was your health like? What was your life like? What major life events were there? Were there major stressors, good or bad? Um, and how did all these things play a role into the development of where you are today? Because all of those are clues to me as to what underlying imbalances are feeding the symptoms. Because it's, I really like to think of it as like a bucket, right? And over time, some of these stressors and toxins and um, lifestyle choices go into this bucket and one day it starts to overflow or it tips and spills. And so being able to go back through that timeline really helps figure out where do we need to go from here to start picking up the pieces. And so that, and, and really getting to know the person and figuring out what are your goals? You know, what's most important to you? And let's start with that. Not just what I think you need, but what, what do you want? Um, and then from there, I take all of those things and develop a program for them. And typically it's a, um, around two months that I say like, let's work together for two months and we're going to work on these things. Um, we might go through a particular protocol that's designed by a physician that I'm trained to lead you in, or we might just work on straight lifestyle. Um, and so we can do those things together and see what progress we make. And, and I like that shorter time frame and hard commitment because then we can get some momentum and progress and that's encouraging and then from there we just decide if you need me anymore or what that might look like so that's that's the kind of logistics but um but what that looks like in people yeah. is um like a client with coming in with digestive issues like like i've said bloating irregular bowel movements maybe some cramping or stomach pain cravings etc those types of things um, those things are generally resolved pretty quickly, which is fun. Sometimes it takes more time, but I just had a client within a week of starting her plan, symptoms were gone, that she had had for years. She had seen multiple doctors, had gone to gastroenterologists, done all the testing, and they're like, oh, we don't really know what's going on, sorry. And a week, and we resolved it. Um, and, and then we, you know, our, we're working on getting foods back into her diet and figuring out, aha, we found a few <laughs> that were the triggers that she had no idea she'd been eating for years. Um, and so that's one example and a, a fun one of, a, you know, something that's completely, um, completely reversed quickly. Um, weight loss is something that I work with people on as well. Um, and sometimes that, just by focusing on gut health and optimizing lifestyle, I have people who never count a calorie and they just start losing weight because we're working at the root cause of that inflammatory process and that and it, weight gain is inflammatory. So by reversing that, we pull off weight. Sometimes it takes a little bit more grit and there's more things going on we have to press into. Um, but for a lot of people, it it's just a new way of thinking about it. And it's so rewarding and empowering. Um, hormonal imbalances are something I see, um, particularly in women, but it could be men as well. And hormonal imbalances are typically downstream symptoms. They're really those outer leaves of upstream problems. And in conventional medicine, oftentimes we just get a hormone replacement. And gosh, there's just so much more we should do before we do that. And so, um, you know, having a client who does a lot of things generally well, and we just make a few little tweaks and hot flashes pretty much disappear overnight. 
wow, that's so fun. <laughs> um, or having, you know, um, maybe younger women with, um, you know, really wild menstrual, menstrual symptoms or irregularity and being able to stabilize that through looking at their diet, helping their detoxification processes. So their body's getting rid of hormones when it needs to. Um, all of those things can be done and are really rewarding again, because that plays so much into how we feel on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, obviously my own story was skin issues. So acne, um, eczema is something I dealt with in my daughter when she's an infant. And again, just using this approach to be able, you know, the love my pre pediatrician, but her only tool in her toolkit was steroid cream. And I was like, I think there's more we could try. I could look at my diet because I'm breastfeeding her. Um, and I could take some things out, see if that helps. And it did. When she started eating foods, being very strategic, how I introduced them to her, supporting her gut health, because in my case, I needed antibiotics during labor. And so knowing that and knowing she might need a little extra support. And we did that and no sign of eczema, right? So that that's so fun and, and rewarding to, to say, okay, eczema is an inflammatory condition. Where is the inflammation coming from? How can we dig a little deeper and address that? Um, one that is increasingly popular, not popular, I should say, but increasingly prevalent um, is autoimmunity and thyroid conditions. And that's, those are two areas that conventional medicine doesn't have a lot of time to spend helping people optimize immune function, thyroid function. Um, and this is personal to me. I had a family member who's going through this and within a month, I mean, she'd been on 10 medicine for 10 years. And within a month of working with me, I asked her how she was doing. And she burst into tears and said, I, I, never, I didn't know I could have this much energy. And so it's still a process for her. Um, but we have made so many strides in, in helping her regain just a quality of life that she didn't even know she could have. And so, um, you know, I could go on and on. Brain health is well, another one. We could do lots of things, but you, those are you, some examples. <laughs> but not, I sort of say, you know, we're not anti-medicine. I mean, I'm, no. I'm having shoulder surgery next month. I mean, I, I'm so grateful, even in this country, that we have the medical system that we have. All we're saying is we want to approach some of this more holistically, start with the trunk of the tree on some things. You know, I know for me, uh, I've just, because I'm older, I've seen how my body has changed. I mean, I'm almost 60 you know, a couple of years ago, I found myself, I'm usually got a ton of energy all day long. I've never been a coffee drinker. And all of a sudden in the afternoons, I'm carrying around a bag of rocks and I'm going, what's happening to me? And all of a sudden I found myself wanting to have a cup of coffee, which I've never done. Mm -hmm. And rather than just start trying to caffeinate myself to get through the day, I started going, what has got my body chemistry is changing because I'm almost 60 years old. And be, just thinking, it's just a whole different way of thinking to go, what's my body needing now? It may not have even needed five years ago. And again, I want to say this, I'm so grateful about that. There is nobody I am working with or have worked with who I wouldn't want spending a month or two with you. And, and I'm even thinking, listen to you right now, because I even know this, because you know I, I know what you're doing with us, but I'm listening to you even today. I was going, who can I give the, I was thinking, who can I gift two months of Hannah Tixon, like, like, like just meet with her, just, just do this. Uh, uh, anyway, um, uh, I just, because of my own personal experience and what I believe, but what, what I think even the, the scripture teaches, the Bible teaches about how we're made and how our bodies work. And again, go back to the integrated comment I made earlier to go, it, it does affect me spiritually. It does affect me emotionally. It does affect my relationships. And I can't deal with those issues without thinking about how I'm taking care of myself or not taking care of myself. And Typically, I tend to take care of my body sort of the way I just kind of grew up or what we ate when I was a kid or how my mom did or didn't cook or, uh, you know, it's, and it's such a, just a, it's just a roll of the dice. And I so love that I can have somebody in any area of my life, but particularly this one who could take me by the hand step by step into an area that can be unbelievably overwhelming, but in a, in a fairly short period of time, I can start seeing some movement which gains momentum, but then I start getting excited about it. And, and so I'm not having to meet with someone like you forever. It's just help me get, help me get the, the boulder moving. So mm -hmm. there's some momentum, if that makes any sense. So if you have any uh, just final thoughts, comments, anyone who, again, this is on the Tin Man webpage, kind of introducing what we're doing with you, but 
just what would they need to do and and this would be a next step for them with relative to you or any final comments you want to make about any of that yeah yeah thanks well i will just say you know it goes the other direction right there's so many people that could use you and that's the best thing they could do for their physical health yeah. because they need to address the emotional spiritual so yeah it's it's a team based approach integrative approach for sure um yeah working with me um you know if someone's you know wondering is this a good fit for me should i start with hannah um could she really help with my particular condition? Um, those are all questions I'm happy to answer. So they can just reach out to me and get my contact info on the website. And um, I'd be happy to, to chat with them and figure out what's the best fit and the best start for them. I am not in any way um, too prideful to say you need a practitioner. I will absolutely tell my, my clients when they need that first. So um, uh, yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. I'm so thankful for this conversation and to be on this team and to get to, again, serve the body of Christ and helping people just get to that high capacity of health and quality of life so they can do what God is calling them to do. Well, when we talked the first time, and we've had several conversations now, the thought that goes through my mind is right person, right place, right time. So mm -hmm. you are the right person in the right place for the right time for this. And I'm grateful that we have you as a resource to, to team and partner with, with the men and women we work with. And uh, again, wanting to do this is, is to explain enough that more folks that we work with will take advantage of this resource. So thanks, Hannah. Grateful for what you bring and how you bring it. Uh, you have a, a great day. And I, I, I uh, appreciate you taking the time to uh, bring this to uh, those who are connecting on the Tin Man website. So thank you. Thanks, Jeff.